no down payment. Um, seems fine. Uh, there doesn't really seem to be any downsides. Every type of loan has drawbacks. Uh, loans, funding fee, VA loans don't require mortgage insurance. They come with an extra cost called a funding fee. The fee is set by the federal government, covers cost of foreclosing if a borrower defaults. Fee ranges from 1.4 to 3.6% of the loan. Okay. Only for primary homes. You can't use a VA loan to buy an investment property or vacation home. Not all property is eligible. Uh, that doesn't seem too bad, um, especially if you're not going to try to get like, you know, a multi-million dollar property, then you default and then you have to pay like a 3.6% fee or something. Um, that doesn't sound too bad. So seems fine to me. Thanks for the donation, Mike. You respond to this, she said women are threatened, and people contact advertisers and they lose money because of deep fakes. They have a link at the end of the thread to a petition to be. Deep fakes are a threat to many for many reasons. I'm addressing only a tiny part of the issue here. I'm also only addressing an even tinier part of sexual harassment and abuse that occurs digitally. However, want to keep da da da. Most of this is going to be bullshit lies. I hope that I can encourage you that you are not alone. I know I'm not either. And for those of you who are still watching, if you wouldn't want this to happen to yourself or someone you. Well, um, there's plenty of things that people wouldn't want to happen to themselves. Like I I'm sure if you're cr committing criminal activity, you wouldn't want the police to fucking arrest you. Uh, I'm sure you wouldn't want like, a, a, if you're corrupt in some way, you wouldn't want like journalists to expose you. Like, it doesn't mean that what somebody's doing is illegal. People have a right to produce art that's unflattering. So it is this bullshit. Uh, a lot of people think deepfakes aren't a big deal because they're not real, but they have incredibly real consequences that widely range. One of the consequences I didn't cover was many of us being threatened sometimes successfully by those who make deepfakes. Well, again, this isn't about deepfakes. This is about illegal activity. This has existed since film has existed. So people, when there was no digital technology, would take a piece of film and another piece of film, and they'd composite the images together to make it look as though someone was in a sex scene. And then they'd use that to extort people or try to ruin their reputation. That has existed since film has existed. So there's nothing wrong with composited images. There's nothing wrong with deep fakes, which are another type of composited image. What's wrong is using that technology for to commit crimes. There's nothing wrong with the technology outright. You can use it to make deep fake porn. There's nothing wrong with that. What's wrong with that is using that technology as a means to commit a crime. So like, if you're going to complain about deep fakes, this is what you should complain about using it to commit a crime. There's nothing wrong with making deep fake porn, sending them to our sponsors, tricking them into thinking we made adult content that therefore made us unsafe to work with a lot to unpack there. Not to mention all the personal, emotional turmoil, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I can guarantee you that rarely ever fucking happens um, because, again, we're in a technologically savvy time where people know if, if something's faked, uh, especially with deep fakes when you're ta especially with videos that have extreme angles. You're you're not going to be able to make a perfectly convincing deep fake. There's almost always some sort of visual artifacting that's obvious. And if the, if these people who are um, how many followers does she have on Twitter, by the way? Um, let me see. She's checkmarked. It has to be a lot. So one thousand five hundred something. Yeah, one hundred one hundred and seventy six K followers. So I'm assuming she's a big channel. Holy shit. Yeah. Four point five million subs. If there were 
if she did make sexual content online, you'd see it on Pornhub, X videos, Chatterbait. You'd see it like being shared on fucking Discord. You'd see it everywhere. If somebody makes a deep fake and literally just sends it as a package in an encrypted email or it's on one website, it's clearly not real. So the people are rarely ever successful at doing this with convincing advertisers that they've made sexual content. So this is bullshit. Um, if, if they're able to convince an advertiser, that advertiser's retarded and you just shouldn't fucking work with them. So kind of a stupid fucking point. Um, if you're liter if this has literally ever happened to you, that advertiser is a fucking retard. Don't work with them. So not a fucking problem. Secondly, um, again, same thing like I was saying before. The problem isn't that deep fake porn exists. The problem is that people are using that te technology illegally. So I don't know why she's complaining about, about deep fakes. She should be complaining about people using the technology illegally. And that's an illegal use. Um, but like this idea that this is like a regular thing, like you're a fucking idiot. Uh, again, if you're working with an advertiser that's that stupid, don't work with them. Uh, there's no point in having uh, business dealings with people like that. I'm so sad when young people excitedly ask me for advice on how they can do what I do, make content that makes them. You have a fucking ASMR channel. OK, like it real. You're a girl with it. Let's let's look at her YouTube channel. Like she she's running a fucking ASMR channel and she's like, I'm so sad people are like thinking about sexual thing. It's a fucking ASMR channel. Disappointed. What do you think of Dracula's grand? And then she's wondering why people want to see her in a fucking deep thick. Baffling. So stupid point. She she's lying about this. I can guarantee you she's lying about this. This probably only happened to her once. Anybody with any sense knows Photoshop exists, knows deep fakes exist. If they're only being sent a like encrypted email with one video that has like weird artifacting and they're convinced that you've done sexual content before, don't work with those advertisers. Like um about protecting themselves as much as possible. Da -da -da, prepare 100 percent for porn and tributes and pictures. She's mad that people fucking jerk off to like some like okay, like there's cum tributes where people will have like a video playing on their phone and then jerk off and come on their phone. Like <laughs> What do you want from people? <laughs> it's just, yeah. If somebody wants to have a video of yours playing on their phone and jerk off on their phone and make a video about it, of it and upload it to Pornhub, boo fuckity who? What do you care? It, it's, it, it's just so stupid how fucking entitled these people are. And if you think they're violating copyright in some way, sue them. Like, she's literally mad that men are jerking off to her. Again, like, again, let's go to her fucking channel. Like, she dresses up in fucking cosplay and has these sexually charged situations where she's talking in this, like, sexy voice and everything. Yes, did you notice they grew a little? And then she's wondering why people jerk off to, like, videos of her and, like, upload it to Pornhub. I mean, that's that's just going to happen. Maybe you should like make. I don't know, like at least boring or different content if. But either way, who cares? Um. Oh, yeah, they make disgusting posts and yeah, OK, whoopee fucking diddly do. You don't have to look at it. Um. I, I, if you have a problem with it, don't look at it. I feel like I have to disclose this to them, not because I'm being overly cautious, da da da. You're a fucking whiny crybaby and you're an entitled fucking idiot. You have like, oh, like you have 5 million subs on YouTube. You're making tons of fucking money doing practically nothing. And then you're whining that some dude on Pornhub uploaded a video jerking off to one of your videos. 
like fuck off you're deliberately looking for this content and then you're whining about it uh if i won't push for justice i don't know who will justice for what your rights aren't being violated uh, except in cases where yeah people are using deep fakes to extort you or slander you but again that like has probably only happened to her once she's full of shit my intention is to be a drop in the bucket that can da, 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 safer future for everyone. How are you in danger? You're not. This is a crybaby. She's literally a, another fucking crybaby acting like she's a victim of something. Just horse shit. I'm sure 2AM Vegan only pinned the comment because the comment was from the person mentioned in the video, which is common practice. mentioned in the video i was only talking about qt cinderella she didn't comment in there thanks for the nation though yeah how are you feeling tonight would you like to twerk to a song of your choice also do you prefer to do the sit-ups with or without the incentive well i prefer doing the sit-ups with the incentive because one it's over quicker and two i make more money so uh it works out for me um, yeah, how about I twerk to a song of my choice this time, since we did a song of your choice last time. Um, I'm feeling pretty good, James Wade, but thanks for the donation, dude. Appreciate it. Twenty-four Savage Night Tellers, I like how you're the most woke, retarded leftist there is defending deepfake porn while you pretend you hate the woke left. This is what you want, but widespread. Open Discord, so I can show you the video of my cock and Jasmine. Let me see. Oh, this is Internet meme ruined my career. Isn't this the Asian chick who did the fake uh, plastic surgery thing? When I got these commercial and advertisement assignments, I was two years into my modeling career. I was already getting assignments with big companies. I always thought my modeling work would go smoothly from there. Yeah, this wasn't a deep fake. So in China, uh, Chinese people have a completely different standard when it comes to sensitive issues like calling somebody ugly. Um, calling somebody ugly in China is not the same thing as calling somebody ugly in the US or Canada. Like that's kind of a taboo here where you're not supposed to say that it's mean, rude. In China, people just call people ugly and everybody's like, haha, yeah, whatever. So she was part of an ad for a plastic surgery uh, clinic where, you know, there's two good looking parents and then they have really ugly kids and they're just making a joke like, oh, they've gotten plastic surgery to look better, but this is what they'd actually turn out looking like. They're and, and they're ruthless. They'll even make fun of kids for being ugly and they don't care. It's just a cultural thing there. Um, this became a meme and was taken out of context and people thought that it was like an actual real thing in the West who didn't know this was a Chinese ad. And then that actually ended up ruining her modeling career because people thought it was like insensitive or something. If and then people wouldn't hire her because she was associated with that um, article. Pretty funny. But kind of like fucked up story, but that's completely different than deep fakes. And I really don't give a fuck if you take Jasmine's face, composite it onto a deep fake. Don't give a fuck. The only time I'd give a fuck is, again, if it's being used for extortion or slander, which is illegal. Yeah, Anna, man, we've uploaded sex videos to the Internet. Um, sh so who cares? Thanks for the nation, 24 Savage. I'm talking about the video of 2AM Vegan about that girl and she made a comment that was pinned. I'm not sure I entirely understand what you're saying. Anna Christina Harris, who the fuck is this? Oh, she argued with me in the chat and I banned her because she wouldn't debate me and she was just spouting fucking nonsense in my chat saying I'm wrong and I'm sexist and then she wouldn't engage in a debate. So I just banned her. Um, that's weird. Oh, I see. OK, I, I responded to her in chat. That's why I pinned it. Yeah, she's a fucking idiot. 
Thanks for the donation, yay. You should not be okay doing that. And it should not be a part of my job to have to pay money to get this stuff taken down. It you don't have to pay for it to get taken down, and it's debatable whether or not it's even violating any kind of copyright. Again, she, like, these streamers make a living responding to random shit on their streams. So they take other people's content and then essentially make money off of other people's work by just reacting to it. There's a lot of situations where it's debatable whether or not that would be considered fair use, especially when it comes to streamers. They're fucking idiots. They give no commentary. At least with me, on my streams, I give actual commentary. Um, so it, it is transformative in that sense, where I, I'm criticizing and uh, giving an actual honest critique. Streamers will just watch stuff and go, Haha, that was cool. I I'm sure she's done this plenty of times on her stream. So like the basis for her making these um, like takedown notices from these websites would have to be copyright. So again, you don't have to do that. If you feel like your copyright is being violated, then okay, you can make these claims and then they can like, this can be battled out in court, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Like what the fuck? Like what the fuck does she care if these like weird random websites that nobody fucking visits has deep fakes of her? Fucking cares. It should not be part of my job to be harassed to see pictures of me nude. By the way, when she says this, it shouldn't have to be part of my job. She literally has moderation teams. You make millions of dollars. Flick like. Flick some of your pennies and shekels at like people and then hire them to like to look for the shit and take it down if you want. Why are you crying? Spread around. It should not be something that is found on the Internet. It shouldn't be. That's that shouldn't be a part of. That's a normative claim to like explain why it shouldn't be there because you're offended. OK, I'm sure there's plenty of artwork that would offend you uh, like read Berserk. I'm sure there's plenty of offensive content in there that you don't appreciate. Should that be banned from the internet? Should artwork just in general be banned if you find it um, uh, offensive in some way? Of my job. And the fact that it is, is exhausting. Exhausting. It's almost as if you're saying you work for a living. Uh, you don't. You fucking just go on camera, yap about bullshit, do fucking nothing, and people throw money at you and you're a fucking millionaire because of it. You're one of the most privileged fucking people on earth, and you're acting as if you have a hard life. And the person that made that website, I'm going to f sue you. This is <laughs> I'm going to sue you. Idiot. What it looks like to feel violated. This is what it looks like. To you're not violated. This is what it looks like to be an overly privileged fucking whiny baby. Feel taken advantage of. Okay, so people are making fun of her. I saw some on the right, some on the left, people making fun of her. Uh, my sympathies are all with her. Yes, she was exploited. Yes, she was not exploited. Like, again, any like if I were to make a fucking Photoshop image of QT Cinderella on a fucking donkey, is she being exploited? Uh, let me see. Actually, I think I still have the images saved. Let me see. I'm probably not even bothered downloading shit. Um, here we go. The fuck? Is this gonna? Yeah, there we go. All right, there's the donkey. Nice big floppy donkey dick. And where's the QT Cinderella photo I had? So if someone jacks off to this flat ass, she's going to cry. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's really funny. Um, it, it it's just. It's whiny crybaby fucking bullshit. It's amazing how people can be so fucking entitled. Like, uh, if they were featured in South Park and they made fun of her, would she be crying like this and say, I'm going to sue them? Like, like if anybody makes some sort of unflattering content about you, like, it, it, it happens all the time. Like, cry more. It's fucking stupid. So look, oh my god, I'm exploiting QT Cinderella, guys. 
look at this exploitation. Wah, wah. I wonder if she's going to make a fucking video crying about it. Wah, this is, this is violating my rights. I'm going to sue vegan gains. Wah. Oh my God, this is so undignified. Wah. It makes more sense to do it this way. There we go. Wah, look at me. Oh my God, my face is on a donkey. Wah, my body is being exploited. Somebody's showing my naked body. Like, it makes no sense. Please explain to me how this is, like, nobody cares, but then if somebody puts it on a human being, on another human being's body, somehow it's a big deal. It's not, like, it's a composited image. Fucking cry more. It's stupid. She was violated. Yes, You're a victim wrong, of something taking... because of the shit? QT Cinderella on Instagram. Oh, so if someone j j jerks off to this uh, flat ass, she's going to cry. So she posted this. This is her. It Like, she literally uploads content that somebody might jerk off to. And then she she's crying that somebody's jerking off to fake videos of her. I can't even, dude. A person's face and posting it on another person's naked body and then pretending that, that person engaged in pornography. But there is something that our culture refuses to say here, and that is that pornography is bad. It is bad for the person who is act It's kind of gross that like pornography is bad. How? Um, for something to be bad, would it not have to generate harm or violate rights? It pornography as a rule does not create harm or violate rights. Hate Twitch streamers who say their life is hard because people say mean things to them. There are people who are uh, barely surviving because of how much debt they're in um, and your life is hard. Yeah, it's it's fucking stupid. Good meds for anxiety, question mark. I have no idea. I don't know uh, what meds are good for anxiety. Talk to your doctor. Like, he's just using this to just, like, hammer in an anti-porn slant. You know what I mean? Control for society. It teaches men to treat women as sex objects. No, it does not. Um, it's kind of weird how the proliferation of porn has coincided with more women's rights... And women have like increasingly um, uh, more equality in society where now you have women who also have to sign up for the draft. So if porn teaches men to treat women as sex objects, why aren't we seeing an even more regressive society where we have like arranged marriages, prostitutions completely uh, legalized like women like women's rape claims and shit like how are there me too movements if women are being treated as sex objects and porn is like teaching men to do this how are there like me too movements like it doesn't make any sense if this were the case and porn makes men think women aren't people and they're just sex objects you'd think society would regress in some way where like women would get less and less rights like no right to vote uh, no right to have a job. They're basically men's properties. You have arranged marriages. Why are we seeing the opposite? Obviously, this is the case. And whether women consent to it or not, it is still wrong, by the way. It's particularly wrong for her because as she says, I, I didn't even consent to be part of <sighs> This is just endless horseshit. Let's see. Here's the...